Oh man, the last time we did one of these community vote videos, it was so funny. I, I just went back and watched it in case you guys missed it. We actually talked about the best trash talk in esports, the best esport for trash talk. There were a lot of votes and a lot of comments. I think we broke by the time the video went live like 70,000 votes. I just read the top comment and someone goes, Rocket League is the Canada of esports. <laughs> it's just coming in hot. You'll love to see it. <laughs> and so this time around, we asked all of you guys for the year of 2020 as we close it. Of course, we want to know what was the best esports of 2020 a terrible and a great year for a lot of games out there and so let's just get this out of the way pete all right league of legends was number one they're the only event to have their major event on, in person you know in the bubble on land I, I think in my opinion it, it's got to be league of legends year in and year out typically is your number one esport yeah especially if you look at esports internationally like league def i know it's not a huge chunk of our our audience of, of you guys of the viewers out there of your like personal likes but from a purely like league basically took a month and a half hiatus. There was a little bit of rumbling from the LCS guys that didn't want to go back to the split for a little true, bit. True, true. But after that, it was like nothing had happened. Back on the train. Yeah. And let's be honest, guys. All right. Eye to eye. Esports looking. League of Legends is still your number one. I think the debate for number two and three this year is where it gets very interesting. Our audience is very clearly skewed towards Call yeah. of Duty. So let's, let's real quick. So according to you guys, and this was with about 50,000 votes in, it might change a little by the time this comes out. You guys were about 44, 45% saying Call of Duty. Right after, well, and then second place, Valorant is just sneaking by CSGO. So 19% yep. Valorant, 18% CSGO. League of Legends coming in strong between 15 and 16%, depending on when this comes out. And then poor Fortnite, how the, the mighty have fallen. Yep. 4%. I think it's so hard for Fortnite because when you take away World Cup, they still did great when they had events and viewership wise, FNCS is still very successful. It's not bad, but I think they went to a different model. They started doing more of like the astronomical stuff with like the Travis Scott stuff. They started doing more concert events. Yes. Certainly as a game compared to esports, Fortnite's still crushing it. And especially when it comes to our audience, they're not going to get any mercy. Yes. And no matter what Zan said in a podcast, it nearly drove everyone insane maybe e esports is not e yeah they're not the pinnacle of esports but the pinnacle of gaming getting there you know but either way if you guys missed it as well uh call of duty winning i think we can really make the debate for two and three on the list we both agree league of legends is number one for myself personally I am, I am biased. I think CSGO is always going to be that rock uh, for a very, very solid eSport. I wouldn't say one of their better years. And I have a lot of reasons as to why. Viewership and player base is still crushing it. But with all of the scandals, I, I don't think it was going to be... Again, this is tough for me to say. I think with all the scandals with the ESIC, match fixing, stream sniping, coach spectating bug, I'm not going to put them on one of my... They are a top five. Are they my top three for the success and no. the growth they saw this year? In my opinion, no. They're in a weird spot where at the start of the year, I feel like from then to now, they and Valorant have flip-flopped. They came into this <laughs> year real strong. They were coming off the highs. Like, Cadavis was huge. They were coming off of... Uh, they had successful leagues going on. It looked like they were going to be able to do a major. Like yes. Rio looked like it was going to happen. And when, I mean, when Valorant launched... Riot didn't really want to support it. Riot was saying, hey, orgs, you guys take care of the events. We're not going to really do our own stuff. Had some bugs at launch with some weird balance issues. And it just it looked like CSGO was poised to like, you know, keep that keep, momentum keep going. Spot. Then around the summer, everything changed. Riot stepped up in a big way. We started seeing real big Valorant events. It only got bigger into the fall. And then it seemed like CSGO, every... CSGO, one day after the, first, the majors canceled. Then there's a coaching scandal. Then there's the the uh, oh, the oh potential max fishing scandal. Like everything started going against them. Yes. And everything started going right for Valorant. Then there's stream sniping. Then all of a sudden, we're losing North American talent to your rival game. Astralis is like hiring people off the street. Astralis has 13 players now and Academy and another roster on the way, <laughs> what it seems. I will say CSGO will always be a top eSport in my mind. This year, compared to Valorant's growth, I wouldn't say it's even close. I think Valorant falls number two on my list for the growth they have made. I think a lot of eyes out there, a lot of Riot Games diehards were like, I knew this was coming. I knew this was going to be the best eSport ever. But it did not look like that at the start of the it year. Had a, it had a rough start, rough start, but it made a fast turnaround. I agree that it's, in, it's a top three for me. <clears throat> I think it's definitely behind Call of Duty, who I think of all the, the you know the sports out there, they'd be my number three. So yeah, of all the esports out there, mm. because not only do you have Call of Duty League, which was the most financially successful league outside of League of Legends. This is an important point you're about yeah. to make, so you have your reasoning. For yeah, Call they of Duty. also so besides the CDL doing 
doing amazing on YouTube, which as we saw with Overwatch League can be just like a complete death blow to a league to move it to YouTube from Twitch, but CDL carried on strong. And then you have to roll in all the Warzone events. Warzone was like the game of 2020. Yes. And then on top of that, now at the very tail end of the year, more hype as Black Ops launches. And we're seeing Black Ops events. Like it, if you take it as a year in total, from Call of Duty League to Warzone events, to now Black Ops, it's been one of the best years for COD in like a decade. And it's one, been insane. One of the best for Riot Games and one of the best for Activision Blizzard. And so I think, again, we love your guys' comments. Rocket League is always gonna be kind of teetering on the, Rocket League had a very solid year yet again. I think last year saw some tremendous growth as well in great viewership for what they do. They changed their model yet again, and it's, it's not the most, it's not the biggest part of our audience. So a notable mention to Rocket League as well probably would be in my top five, but it's probably five for me. I, it, it might, I think it has to edge out Fortnite at this point in terms of an eSport. Because Rocket League if is just a pure esports. Strictly esports, I agree with you. Um, but yeah, certainly, I, I still will say Fortnite, when they have the big events, their viewership does great because they still have the co streams, which Valorant also is going to benefit from and has largely. So I think Final List is very, very similar. I think we flip flop two, three. League of Legends, number one. For you, Call of Duty's number two. And then Valorant's number three. I switched those. Valorant's my number two. And COD is my number three for our top esports of 2020. I think we gave some valid reasons, but hey, we're not always right what do you guys think are your top three or top five esports of 2020 and as we head into 2021 we'll see if uh, if riot or activision blizzard can really really take things over or if valve does something interesting thank you all for watching were you gonna say something as we close out i was like it seems unlikely that valve's gonna do anything that would be a, a big change of pace for valve 2021 gave and attends a major life's all good that's not happening <laughs>